This is Emory University Hospital, and this is where that first patient with Ebola from Africa is, be, is going to be flown. Many in Atlanta and across the country are asking why. This morning, two American missionaries, Nancy Wrightball and Dr. Kent Brantley, fighting for their lives, are being flown from Africa back to the United States. ABC News has learned they'll be flown one at a time on a special jet with an isolation pod like this, an airtight tent, and at least one will be heading to Atlanta, to Emory University Hospital. It's uh, very difficult right now for the doctor. Uh, he's, uh, he's in what we would say is stable, but right now very serious condition. And Nancy's uh, is a little better. According to the CDC, it's the first time an Ebola patient will be treated in the United States. Emory, located only a few minutes from the CDC, contains an isolation unit, one of four in the United States, which can treat patients who are exposed to certain infectious diseases. The hospital saying overnight, its staff are highly trained to treat and care for this type of patient. We know how to stop Ebola. It takes meticulous work. You have to find the cases, respond to them, and prevent them. ABC News has learned that on Thursday, Dr. Brantley insisted on making sure the only dose of an experimental serum was given to Wright Bowl instead of him. Brantley's wife saying overnight, I remain hopeful and believing that Kent will be healed from this dreadful disease. And Rich, you're at Emory Hospital right now. The patient's heading there. I imagine they are on edge at that hospital. Well, I imagine some are, George, but when I worked at the CDC up the street, sometimes our investigators would be exposed to something dangerous in the field. This is where we would take, this is where we would send those people. The last time, back during the big SARS outbreak, one of our investigators got sick in Hong Kong. He went here. They know what they're doing. 